six previous meetings between these two men. The first of them at the Malaysian Open back in 1998. And of course the last meeting two years ago at the All England semi-final. A match that went the full distance, 15-12 in the decider. Let me tell you, that semi-final two years ago lasted an hour and 55 minutes. And many believe that Cheng Hong, when he played the final against Pulela Gopi Chan the very next day, two years ago, was so exhausted that he didn't give a fair account of himself. Chen Hong was desperate to put that right 12 months ago and he duly won the title. And Steve, I think you probably reckon that he's the favourite here now. I do. This player's got everything. He can play the shuttle around. He's got explosive speed. He's so quick. I think he might be the champion again. Graham Cooper, the umpire for this men's single semi Ladies and gentlemen, on my left, Chen Hong, China. <laughs> on my right, Mohammed Roslin Hashim, Malaysia. Chen Hong to serve, love all, play. Chen Hong, at the far side of the court as we look down. No, so obviously, Steve, you One love. said that you believe that Chen Hong will end up as champion once more again of this All England crown. But you were talking to the Malaysians at the beginning of the week, and, and they have come here in very positive fashion. They honestly believe Do they can go love. home with the title. That's right. I mean, Ms. Ben Sadek actually put it in the papers, which is a, a bold statement there that one of his players would win the All England title. Help. And we already have one in the final, so. Love is over. Love to. Good prediction. That's a wonderful angle. Service over. That's why I think Chen Hong will win the title. He's so explosive, gets up in the air well. You can't see what side of the court he's going to hit the shuttle to. Just turns the wrist at the last moment, which turns the racket head. Very good deception. We don't think that the four hours and 20 minutes of his four Three previous matches love. in these championships are going to have its, its uh, effect on today's semi-final then with Chen Hong? Um, he's a very fit boy. I think he can handle it. Um, the good thing about him, he's got that explosive element of his game where he can just jump up and hit the shuttle. So some of the rallies don't have to be long and exhausting. He has the ability to finish off in three or four shots. That's a great weapon to possess. Exactly like that. Exactly. I mean, Hashim's game will be to move Ball. Chen Hong all no. around the court, try and wear him down. But if Chen can counter, get up to the shuttle early, and play his smash down the line, I think he might win the match. Well, the line judge very slow to react, but there's no question the shuttle was wide at the sideline. Love four. It was good deception. Took it nice and early over there, but just out. Now, yeah, once again, the angle. It, he's not hitting these shuttles hard, is he? When he's, over. he's finding angles like that, he's four, slicing love. across the feathers of the shuttle. That's right, but you see, he's got such a threat because he can hit the shuttle so hard that the players expect him to hit hard, and then he changes it up and is able to play that beautiful cross-court cut.
five, love. Again here, lift up by Hashim. What power. Lovely shot. That is just incredible. I mean, he's not Six. showing any signs Love. of being tired from last night. He's using his power, his strength, his athletic ability. And he hits so close to the lines. Good counter there though from Hashim. Derby Hong over. looking to play Love. a very Zip. fast shot. Hashim cut it out, counter attacked. He's got to get in this match so soon. Hashim one six did very well to get back that clear. He was played with such deception. As he knows he was lucky there. I think Hashim's tactic though was exactly set out to stall in that rally. He's going to play long rallies, hoping to take the sting out of Chen Hong's ability to get up to the shuttle and tire him out. It's the only way he knows how to play. Now. Six. six love down now to three six. Right back in there. Five. Five. Service over. Six three. Good judgment there by Chen Hong. Oh. Service over. Again, Chen Three, Hong six. getting right up in the air, playing the smash. Unfortunately, just out. There's Chen Hong making one or two errors now. Yes, he started off very, very positively, Four, but uh, certainly letting his opponent back in this match a little bit. Maybe that match is having a slight effect as you suggested, Joe. Wonderful play, and 
his coaches, Misben Sadek and Yak Kim Ho, absolutely oh, delighted six. with his form now. Okay. The recovery to be able to smash that straight down the line. Service over. Six, five. Well, that's quite a long way out of that service. Gets up here, doesn't look like he's going to jump. Over. Last minute, Five, reaches six. up for the shuttle and pulls it cross court. Lovely shot. He doesn't have the same sort of dynamic style as his opponent, but he's just as effective with all these angles. Oh, he's very good with his wrist, this player. He can turn the shuttle, take pace off the shuttle, but he can run all day long. That's the good thing about Hashim. Well, perhaps trying to be a little too clever there, Chen Hong. Six all. Service over. Six all. Oh, what a different perspective on the match now that six love lead has disappeared oh, level and he feels to add to his score when he has the serve service over six all and again, a little clench of the fist there Hashim he's very happy with his form at the Seven, moment six for the first time, 7-6. Oh, it's landed on the line. 8-6. Oh, did it? Oh, I wouldn't have liked to call that one. Nine, six. Very quick onto the net there, Chen Hang. He played a good so net shot, cross six, court, nine. gets in on it, turned his body, took a chance. missed it well psychologically this is very very Nine, tough six. for Chen Hong that six love lead his opponent has won nine points in reply oh clearly long service over six nine I think it's psychologically very important that Chen Hong moves his score along. That time it's landed in. Seven, nine. It's a good smash, a good defense, an easy net block, and Hashim could have played it. what he was doing in the early stages. Eight, nine. Yes, he definitely has this ability to win quick points, Chen Hong. Mixed in the service there. Different kind of service. Caught Hashim a little bit off nine guard. All. Forced another error. Now it's nine all.
Well, I wonder if you just lost sight of the shuttle in the lights here. Ten, very nine. late to play the shot. It seemed very hesitant on that shot. But Cheng Hong has pushed the pace on a, a little bit here, trying to hurry Hashim, and he has made a couple of errors. on that sideline has been Nine, slow ten. to react and that of course does unsettle the players that definitely unsettles him as a great angle but it, that was clearly a, no question no question at all Jill it's a very very good smash great angle Service over, 10, 9. Three, one. Good net spin. The power getting up there again. We're on angle. <laughs> Service over. A good flick from the back. Hashim also Nine, shown he ten. has some explosive element to his game. A flick down the line. Smash is not a full smash, it's almost like a stick smash. so quick on the recovery beautiful shot down the line Ten followed it in went for the kill well that was just extraordinary and he's delighted with that rally understandably so the court just Two. needing to be mocked the players taking the opportunity to towel down and have a quick drink but this is a fascinating game it's a very exciting game, Jill. That's perfect. You won't see a tighter neck shot than that. And Miss Sedek there. Showing his delight 11, as well. 10. It wasn't just how good the shot was, it's recovery from the previous shot. He was well off balance and still played a neck cord tumble. Service over. 10, 11. Both men showing good power, good defensive qualities from Hashim. Nothing to do with that shot though. serve up in the middle of the court. Service over. Just wide of 11, that centre line. 10.
creeping ever closer to this opening game. 12. Rosalind Hoshin. The thing I do see a little bit of the tactics happening here is Chen Hong is always smashing down Hashim's backhand side and Hashim is getting to them now. Surely there must be a change soon from Chen Hong. Service over. 10-12. Style, Joe, to work at his opponent very, very so hard, over. and then put in a deceptive cross-court cut, forcing them in. Ten. We must remember in, in, in badminton, especially in men's singles, it's so much harder to keep moving to the back of the court than it is to come forward. It's so much easier to come to the net, but when you're being forced back and back, it takes a lot out of your legs. About the perfect prop shot, the shot at the top of the tape, but still going 10, over. 12. Nothing a Malaysian could do about that. down the forehand side, got a bit of a weaker 11, reply, took 12. the chance to come in, lovely kill. Clench fist there Jill, he wants it. Service over. 12, 11. Good judgment. Service over. 11, 12. Service over, 12-11. That's incredible. 
the deception, the hold and flick from Chen Hong. Looked as if he was going to play a next Service shot. Service over. 11, 12. Only shuttle control, but control of his movement as well, Steve, from Cheng Hong. For a powerful player, he moves very fast, but then he can change his speed of movement to play a soft shot. And that's one of the hardest things in the world to do, is to move fast and at the end of it play a slower, softer shot. He does it so well. what you were talking about, the explosive movement, and yet still having well, the racket head oh. control to play the softer, more delicate shot. Yeah, and especially at this stage of the match, it's, it's very tight at this moment, and still able to pull that shot down. Very easy for him to go for a hard shot there, just changed his mind. Great ability. All level once more. Ashim here changing tactics, going for the attacking option, paying off for him. Stop! What a return of serve. Service over, 12 all. How the opponent let the opponent make a move, plays it straight down the line. 13, Great deception. 12. from corner to corner Hashim's defence standing at the moment 12-13 good recovery in this opening okay. game okay. that six love deficit right at the start okay.
this time Jerley chose the option of hitting at the body. And so that was a real weak reply. 13. And Hashim 12. was deciding whether to go to which side or not. Didn't really make a decision. Shot was on top of him. immediately saying please play on Graham Cooper the umpire oh well I thought that might have clipped the outside edge Ten of the line I think I have to agree with you there John look just on the outside edge question that time clearly long service over 13 12 for the weak reply that was the opportunity 14. he had been waiting for game point 12 and now game point for the reigning champion was the one got pulled out of position 12 14 yeah the Chinese number one wasn't able to capitalize that's wide now just the one point the 13, deficit 14 the net from Chen Hong really doing the damage that was the one service over of course the week for Brian 13 and now he has his second game point opportunity these tight stages of a game ah! missed it it's all level 14 game point all oh, are you setting setting to 17 the umpire asking Chen Hong as he reached 14 first whether he wished to set or not he says indeed he does First player to 17.
wonderful defence, but wonderful composure from Chen Hong to stick to his game plan. How quick so it's over did he get from the back all. of the court to the front of the court there to play the cross court winner? for over 34 minutes. It's over. 14 all. But certainly at this stage of a match, after this pace of game, in a way understandable. Well, that took courage from Chen Hong. Fully committed at the net. Service over. There's only a half chance, 14, but he took it, 15. took it well. of his own on his smashes that took a lot of courage from Chen Hong. 14 16 yes he's still showing the commitment to his attacking style Chen Hong. I think he has to yes and I just wonder about this opening game and the influence of the opening game on the outcome of the match when you consider that Chen Hong has had two matches that have lasted approximately an hour and a half. If he was to lose this opening game, whether he would have the resolve and in fact the physical fitness to come back. I think as far as the holder is concerned, it is vital he takes this opening game. Attacking, then took the pace out the shuttle. Old Hashim. 
Stop. Service over. 15, 16. Oh, that was a marvellous looking shot. Tension in the arm, and therefore the error Service pushing over. the shot wall. 16, 15. Point number three for Roslyn Hashim. <laughs> Would you believe it? That's incredible. I mean, I think Chen Hong he has to keep going for it. He does look a little bit tired. 15, 16. What a good smash under pressure. A little Service bit over. desperate here. 16. But I 15. just don't know why Chen Hong doesn't go down the line sometimes with that smash. Keeps going off the cross court angle. And point number four. It's going to drift wide. Service over. Fifteen, sixteen. Well, not surprising that the players need to tell down. Close to the line. Oh, it was. Stay on court, please. Stay on court. Thank you. Fifteen, sixteen. Now, 
16 all. Game point now, number three for Trent Hall. Game point all. our breath after that opening game 17 16 absolutely extraordinary badminton and I, see, I suppose the big question Thank you. can Chen Hong maintain this sort of pace he's had a very tough tournament so far he has and the pace has been very quick here because he's needed to attack second game he plays Hashim a long game I think Hashim might take him but I think the important part there is he won the first set. Had he lost the first set, I'm not so sure he, he could have gone the, the long route. Winning the first set, maybe. Right. Just long. Davis over, love all. Yep, good call. Service over, love all. Service fault call, service over, love all. Could we have a Elaine. light on the scoreboard, please, at the far end? Elaine Senior, the service judge calling a service fault, and the umpire just pointing oh, a out that at the, the top. A red scoreboard. light on the top, please. That beside the court isn't indicating that the first game on, has gone to Chen Hong that has now been rectified oh. how do you coach that one Steve? I don't know if you can coach that Jill I think that's just instinct and talent we saw him do one last night just looked exactly the same One love. I definitely think Chen thinks he can win this in two sets. He's going for it, keeping that attacking option. Love is over. Love one. That is dynamic. That's just brilliant. Service over. One love. After the pace of the first set, to be able to come out with something like that so soon after that, brilliant. Really Two, are so love. testing. I mean, they go on and on, but it's quality shots. It's not that they're just keeping the shuttle in court. I mean, really are testing their opponent. They are. I mean, the shots are getting behind the opponent to all corners of the court, and they're still getting back with quality shots. It's quite incredible. Five. 
There's that lovely backhand again. He's so powerful Three, on the backhand lock. side. Just whipped his opponent from cross court. Very strong in the forearm to be able to play that shot. So it's right at the end of the opening three. set that Chen Hong was beginning to make one or two errors on those smashes. Seen a couple here at the beginning of the second. Well, there's another one, Jill. One, three. But, but I think as this kind of player with his attacking style that he accepts he's going to make mistakes and it doesn't really seem to rock his confidence that much when he makes them. lift was so short there was absolutely no way was Chen Hong going to make one. an error on that kill saw his opponent coming forward surely Steve the, the level of this match the quality level has got to drop I mean these men cannot keep this standard going throughout the entirety of the match, surely. Well, you wouldn't have thought so, Jill, but so far, wow, it's really, really impressive badminton. That's a clever smash. A little so less over. pace. One, three. Yeah, Hashim has a, a good ability to hit down and I really don't know why he doesn't do it more often. It's very deceptive overhead. Service over. 3-1. Just think, if you'd have played one of those shots in setting in the game before, maybe you'd have took the first set. is One. playing a little more patiently at the start of this second game. Maybe he doesn't have the energy reserves to be quite as explosive as he was in the opening game. Yeah, I think you're right. I think he's going in patches here where, you know, he's playing the rally around a little bit and then suddenly he goes for three or four real attacking shots. Service oh. over. One, four. He also seems to go for it actually when he's serving. When he's receiving, he seems to play out the rally a lot more so he doesn't give any points away. He's not so worried if he makes an error when he's serving, just giving the serve away. Two, four. Changed it up there, smash down the centre. I think Hashim was looking for Service over. one of the sides to go Four, to. Two. Smash down the centre, perfect choice.
five, two. Well, this is the more patient style of Chen Hong. Okay. But surely as well, as the players get a little bit more fatigued, the reaction time is going to be slightly longer and therefore the reactions of Rosalind Hashim on the defensive play, uh, the defence might break down a little sooner in the rally. Yes, I think that's uh, something that uh, Chen is definitely uh, aware of and that's why he's trying to work Hashim a little bit so later on in the crucial points in the match he can Six, pick up on that big two. smash of his. Same tactic, smash directly at his opponent. Seven, two. Getting off the ground well, good explosive speed, good accurate smash. This is where the Malaysian must dig deep. There's a phone in here. But all credit to Chen Hong. He's forcing the rallies. He is, he's playing very well at the Eight moment. Two. But as you're 